guys welcome back to my channel so um today after like how long has it been five months let me tell you something life is busy as you can see from the title i will be doing an american clothing haul but not just american clothing american snacks and american cosmetics background information my mum just came back from new york disclaimer not all these snacks are for me, okay? I'm not fat. Don't need you guys to think I'm fat. Not all of them for me. I have them with me right now. So I'm just gonna show them to you guys. Um, and not all these cosmetics are for me. I don't really think any of them are. Also, accessories and like underwear. Off, lovely and strong. We're gonna start with a few American snacks. We've got Cheetos. These are flame and hot crunchy ones. We got these Oreo clusters, which are apparently new. They look like soft Oreos. So like, it looks like a little cake with the cream inside of it. Um, and then we got Jolly Ranchers. These are mine. I love Jolly Ranchers. The flavors we got here are fruit punch, golden pineapple, lime, and mango. So those are nice. I'm gonna suck on one of them. Let's have a lime one, lovely and sour. I actually never tried a lime Jolly Rancher. Um, it's just like sucking a lime lollipop. But I still love my Jolly Ranchers. Pop Tarts. I love Pop Tarts so much. I swear. Oh. You know what I love? Watching Love Island with a hot Pop Tarts and chocolate milk. That's my like. Yeah. And these are cooking cream flavours. And I've tried is the strawberry one, the chocolate one, and the hot fried Sunday one. I want to try the s'mores and Oreo one. The last time I went to America, I went to America for five days in 2019. My sister brought them. Long story short, um, they actually got stolen out of her suitcase because someone put drugs in her suitcase. That's another story for another YouTube video. I've got Sour Patch Kids. You know what, yeah? We had these in England. I've probably had them last week, so, but like, they're in boxes, which is cute. We also have that in England, but still. And then, um, Mike and Ike. I love these so much. They're somewhere in the country here. But I'm having an ages. I love my Knights. More Sour Patch Kids. But blue flavoured. I've never seen this ever. Blue raspberry flavoured. Yum. I love blue raspberry flavoured things. And trolley. They're just cute, like little snails. So that's all the snacks. We're gonna go to cosmetics. Oh. Let's start with some perfumes. Here we have Gingham Love by Bath and Body Works. My mum was saying how she thinks Bath and Body Works has been getting expensive nowadays. Let's see how that smells. Okay, that's strong. I smell a hint of raspberry. See, I'm bad with perfumes because for me, most of perfumes smell like just pure alcohol, unless it's like vanilla or chocolate mask. So when it comes to perfumes, I'm very picky. But I feel bad because like, if someone gets me a perfume, I'll spray it, I'll be like, oh my gosh, it smells so nice. And really, it's just like, all I can smell is alcohol, alcohol. But perfume I have, which I love, Billy Eilish perfume. You have to spray it and it takes a bit to set. At first, there's alcohol as well, but then it just, mmm. And then I love the GB2. Um, but yeah, anyway, Bath and Works. Yeah, it just smells like flowers, alcohol. Um, you know what? Diamonds and Rubies, Elizabeth Taylor. Edouard Toilette. This one is strong. Like when I say strong, you can smell it outside the bottle. It's strong. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm not gonna bother spraying it myself. Beverly Hills Polo Club. Sexy for her. This is another strong one. They kiss one outside the bottle. Bottle. I feel like it's another alcohol heavy one. I think we need to give it a bit time to shake off. It just was expensive that's all i can say i'm not really good with this perfume so i don't know why i'm actually doing this okay this is japanese cherry broth blossom bath and body works okay no i'm gonna take off the tape cherry blossom i feel like i like this one i like cherry i feel like is the only like flowery sub cherry's not a flower only like fruity flowery like smell that i like accept yeah, it's nice, it's nice, but I'm more like a vanilla, musk, chocolate. Nice smell. It is a nice smell. Right, 
Oh, no, we got more. A Thousand Wishes Bath and Body Works. That one smells, that one smells nice. Yeah, yeah, Bath and Body Works, guys. And then we also got it in body cream. Let's just smell of every different fragrance we can. And we got this in shower gel. This is a thousand wishes again. This is the gingham one in shower gel. Flip something drop. Oh, let's just flip right now. Pastel skies and shower gel. I love lip gloss. Like the other day, I saw Fenty was on sale for sixty pounds. Wait. Yeah, I got it because why not? Plus, I had a boot watcher. Um, but yeah. I mean, now I can say I'm owned by something created by Rihanna. Wouldn't you like to say it? Go get yourself some Fenty. There you go. I'm an advertiser now. I do have a fair share of lip glosses, so I don't really need these. And these aren't my colour. So we've got purple on here. I don't actually know if they're pigmented. I should check, but my lips look nice now, so I don't want to ruin that. This one's not too bad. Yeah, these are called Lovesick Metallic Lip Colour Set. We got these ones that I wanted, but again, my mom won't let me have. I like these. They're like glittery, and I love tube ones. But the thing is, I'm never able to find ones with like sticks that last for a long time. Never. So, I'm a tube girl. This is my favorite, of course. NK Rose Gold. Get yourself some. Because it stays for ages. I, like, I can literally eat with this and it stays. It's the best thing ever. Um, cute. And then my mum gave me this because she thought obviously it's not her shade, but this is not my shade. Um, yeah, it's not my shade. So no. Oh, I've missed a perfume. Oh, one of the um perfumes gave with a body oil. I love body oils because I can literally just be in school and I can just be like, I have a chocolate mask body oil. Let me show it to you guys actually. This is not even given America clothing home. What is this one? It's from Amazon. It was three pounds when I bought it back. I think it's like six pounds now. Um, yeah, chocolate mask. It's so nice. Like, it just smells of heaven. Not that I know what heaven smells like. Um, yeah, not my shade, so no. But then it also has like a lip balm and a lipstick. I was kind of used to thinking, it's not my shade, but could I use it as blush? Um, and you guys might be laughing at me right now because it is very light. But I realised blush is like a versatile thing. Like, you just have to like... Okay, maybe it's a bit too light. What do you guys think? I'm just going to break me out and my skin's not... Oh, no. Yeah. No. What the hell? I think it might look better on camera, actually. But... Yeah. Um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. But I probably... A lip balm. I doubt I'll use this, but... Just might as well. Let's see what that looks like. For, okay. Now, now I want myself to break out. Yeah, that isn't nothing. It's just blends in. So yeah, I think that's cosmetics done. You know, America loves their brands. I feel like everyone does. I won't be doing a child home for this for obvious reasons. Um, we got Reebok. Another Reebok. Lucky brand. And it's got bra. Um, yeah. Mum got a Versace bag for her birthday. You know, my mum got loads of things for her birthday, so I'm thinking, give it to me. So yeah, it's a cute bag. I'm just gonna wear it to like church on Saturdays and stuff. Um, and you put your like your little things in there and stuff, so. Yeah, so I got these nice feeder trainers and I like these. So I'm just gonna, yeah, ignore the odd sock. Um, I'm in my house, I don't need to find matching socks. These, they do fit, they do fit. They are very snug though, but however, I feel my, my feet have stopped growing, so I don't think I have anything to worry about. Um, yeah, they're cute. They're cute, I like them. They're nice black. Sleep trainer Jones New York signature. I'm gonna pretend what that is. These are another pair of church shoes. Wouldn't be wearing socks with these, would be wearing them with tights. But I like these. That's accessories done. Up with is an outfit my mum bought me. 
which is for church because I'm a deaconess. So I used to be wearing black and white. White t shirt. I think it's cute. Um, and then it comes with black skirt. I feel like a 40 year old woman, but is what it is. Oh, I like this. It's cute. You know, it's like I really like the top. I feel like I feel professional. I feel I feel ready to do service for God. Like um, I mean, it's weird that this is our bottom, bottom, but I like the colour. It doesn't really show the skirt, but I'll just stand up here so you guys can see it. The skirt is, I'm going to have to bring it down a bit, you know, below my knees. This is for church, yeah. But, okay, let's hold on to the roof. Yeah. I like it. I think it's nice. I think it's very classy. I think it is missing something, though. But I do like it. Yeah, I'll rate this one a seven. Lovely seven, perfect seven, and I never write things solid numbers, so I forgot to, to say stop. that the brand name for the top is Zach and Rachel. I've never heard of that brand. Thank you, Zach and Rachel, though. The brand name is Ruth. There are no truth by Republic. That's cute. Right, moving on to the next outfit. So we're gonna do these bottoms. I don't like them. They Don't bash it till you try. Don't judge a book by its cover. Um, they are happily grey. That's their that's their brand name. These are one of the things that was kind of like me and my sister. Also, again, another disclaimer, I don't know any of the prices for these things, so don't ask me. I can't help with that. But um we're gonna try this on. Like I said, don't bash till you try, because they're not too bad. They're not too bad, okay? Right, this is what we're working with here. They're like, yeah, I don't think, I don't know where I wear this. I'd probably wear it to like someone's house kind of, but like I would wear it like, I'm kind of, no, I like it. I think it's this top. I do like it with this top, this top. I think it's cute. I really like, it's the, like, I like the color and the material's not all bad. It's just some like nice like trousery thing. I actually like it. Like I'm gonna give it, Seven. It's not too it's bad. Top right here. No, okay, yeah. Another thing. When it comes to clothing and stuff, me and my mom don't usually meet eye to eye. So I have a style that's different from what she thinks my style is. So when she was going to America, I didn't really ask her to get me any clothes. Like I was gonna probably tell her to bring me snacks. Even that I wasn't too keen on. Unless I'm there, I can't tell you what to buy for me. But there's if there's one thing I did tell her, I love brown clothing because I think brown like really goes with my skin tone. Um, and it's just like my favorite clothing color. I am actually very proud of like how my mom did with this like, trip, given, considering I literally just said brown. Like I gave her nothing, and I'm pretty sure I like pretty much. One lovely brown top, and I feel like I'm gonna like it ready. This one is from Bazolio, but Bazolo. Um, let's try it on. See, as you can see, it's a cute top, pretty self-explanatory, very cute. I quite like it with these pants. Um. I quite like anything with these pants. I actually really like these pants now. But yeah, it's like really tight. Obviously, I can't really wear it in the weather in now because it's winter. And winter in the UK is disgusting. Um, but when summer comes, so will this top. I rate it. I don't know, 7.5. It's simple. It's like, there's nothing too special about it except for the fact it's brown. But it's simple. I like it. We're going to so try good. a piece of bottoms I also don't think I'm going to like. However, after seeing these, I'm going in way more open-minded. These are from the brand American Original Rewash brand. Um, so they're kind of the same kind of like material as these. There's a twist though. It has a split from literally here. So my mom was like, yeah, you can to my uniform. I'm like... No, I can't. Okay, no, I can't. But in the summer, I'm like, um, I don't even like it anyway. But we're going in this open-minded. Uh, so I did say I'm going in open-minded. Remember that. But <laughs> stop. I don't know. I just you can't even see my face, but you don't need to. I don't. I don't know. Like, but I give it a f five because it's like it's not horrible, but it's like. Where am I gonna wear this? Again, it's not really my style, um, except from the slits I do like, but it's like, these slits are brazy, bro. Like, they're up here, like, 
Mm, don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> Moving on. We've got another top coming up. Yeah, I don't really like tops like these. Mainly because I don't feel like it's for my body type. It's just really like... And then it's just... It makes... It doesn't suit, like, me. But open-minded. This brand is another happily grey brand. I'm just going to try it on and see. Don't know what to expect. <laughs> I don't like the turtleneck. They make me look like a hospital patient. You know, it's not my thing. So it's a no from me. A four. I was just in the mirror and these are sort of growing on me. So when summer comes, maybe I'll just wear them. Then we got a top from Sincerely Jewels. I'll be real, I have not heard of one brand that I know. And I have a strong feeling you guys don't know them either. But let's just pretend we all know them. Just a plain top, really nice and stretchy Sincerely though. Sincerely Jewels. Basic top, let's see how that goes. Okay, um, this one's not too bad. I mean, I thought it was more of like a U shape, but it is a U shape, but more of a square U shape, you know? Um, it goes with these pants again. These pants are like, they're making this, they're like, you know, I can, okay, that, that is what was, I, that's what I was afraid of. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, I, it's just, yeah, it's, it's another one where it's just like, let's wait till summer, you know, because, I feel like I could wear a jumper or something though, but it's not bad, it's basic, so I can't really complain, it's just basic. I think it goes with my skin tone kind of, I mean, yeah, it's not bad. But we got Active Basic. Also, all of these are like made in China, if you guys cared. Um, again, another basic top, this one is more of a, a V neck, which I like, but I like V necks that are like U necks, so they're like here, but they're like a V, but they're like not too low Vs. I don't want it too low. And this one might be okay. So let's try it on. It's shaped like your neck, but it's not too low. But yeah, again, it's another basic one. I didn't do a rating for that one, did I? So for that brown one, I'll give it a 6.7. And for this one, a 6.5. It's not that I don't like it, but it's basic. So for basic clothing, I can't really give you above an 8 or seven so you know i'll give them both sevens i'll give them both sevens because i don't really have anything to complain about um but yeah i just think it's cute i think it's simple i like long it sleeve top. i didn't actually tell why i need a long sleeve top but i need long sleeve top when i tell you i have no long sleeve tops except for that black one and i don't think you guys realize that, that black one has a hole in the sleeve so i do really need these new clothes but yeah like i'm gonna be wearing this too much faded rose another brand i don't know um Nice and stretchy. Let's let's see what it's saying. I like it. It's just so it's just so sleek and clean. It makes me feel like clean and like the material is so soft. It's actually so soft. I'm gonna give this one um a eight because it's long sleeve and it's what I've needed like especially in this winter time. The material is literally so comfy. Like what a thermal insulator. Something that makes these hideous pants not look so hideous. So yeah what can i say thank you whatever your brand name was um that is another what the hell is going on here moving on to the start of the show the one we've been waiting for these lovely flare jeans yes i know what's it <laughs> my mom got me flare jeans and i kind of have them but i don't actually have the ones where it goes like inwards and then outwards it's more just outwards you know so I'm going to try these on. Um, I want to try it on with this top because I feel like it's going to go with this top. And I have one more top to show you guys, which I think it's going to go with. But when we'll get to that, we'll get to that. This brand name is Vanilla Star. Bit of a split knee, so yeah. Also feel like it could be a non-uniform outfit, but we'll see. Anyway, let's try it on. I love them. I love them. I did something really embarrassing though. I, well, it's not really embarrassing because no one saw, but I put my foot through the knee. But we've all been there, haven't we? But I literally love it. They're nice and they're nice and snug on my thighs. I'm one of those girls who have the problem, yeah, where it's too big for your waist, but then it's too tight for your thighs. Wait, is that it? Or like, it can't fit your thighs, but it can fit your waist. And you get what I'm saying? This waist, thighs. And not only that, I love this like cut, like the way it looks like it's been cut by scissors at the end. Like, it's just such a sharp, clean cut i i just, I just like, it goes with this top i'm literally balancing on like a rocky like thing so i could kill myself by doing 
yeah um i'm happy i'm very happy i'm gonna make this one a 10 yeah i said it i said it it's a 10 what more could i want okay 9.5 because i don't rate things 10s anyways top now this top is not for me it's actually for my sister but i saw it and i thought for fun we're gonna try it on because i'm in this one too Kyos, and i think i can confirm by the end of the video i've not well known one band except from like bath and body what I've not known one brand I talk too fast, except from Bath and Body Works, that these clothes, no, that that any item has been from. And, and what's it, Fila, and Versace, and Sour Patch Kids, and Jolly Ranches. Hercules, Los Angeles, another kind of summery one, giving me off soldier vibes. Let's try it on. Guys, doesn't this look cute? Don't you think so? Like, it goes with like the gold, um, um, it is a bit like, I don't think this will fit my sister because it's like, it's kind of like the back, the front is like hard, that makes sense. And the back is like stretchy. So it's kind of weird. Oh wait, maybe it's meant to be off shoulder. Yeah, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Um, yeah, I think it's really nice. I like the wrists. It's really nice. Um, yeah, and I, I really like this. Um, guys for watching this video remember to like subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you can be notified every time i post a video which is very rare so you're never gonna hit that bell picking picking pinning pinging pinging but if you want to see that comment down below see there's the whole what videos you want me to do because i i'm not a people pleaser but as my lovely subscribers i'd love to please you with content that you find entertaining and engaging. My favorite item of this video, not that anyone cared, was obviously these jeans which I'm still wearing now and I don't know when I'm gonna take off because they're just perfect. These are the best jeans I've ever had in my entire life. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Um, have a nice day. And you want more hauls? I love doing hauls. I know you guys love me doing hauls, but if you want hauls, you need to send me money, okay? So cash out me right now. I don't have cash out, so I don't know. I said that, see you guys in the next video, bye.